Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, let's take a little bit of a rewind and see how it happened. Hey everybody, it's Corey from CJ Off-Road and today we are at Roush Creek Off-Road Park with Tri-State Bronco. We should have about 15 to 20 Broncos out here today hitting the trails. Hopefully we're gonna not break anything and just have a ton of fun. Right there, straighten it up. Perfect. Uh, he's gonna be you're good. Nope, you're good. Yeah. You're good. There you go, That's just too much fun. If I had any more fun, I'd get paid to do this. <laughs> insane. What's up everybody? We just got back from the trails. 
We are having a little bit of a lunch break here, and I gotta say, absolutely having so much fun so far. The Bronco is ripping, even though it's a base model with absolutely no lockers or anything. We're finding ourselves in some tight situations, but it's still able to get itself out. And hopefully we're just gonna keep continuing to have a good day. We're gonna go back out here in about 20 minutes, hit some more trails, and hopefully it just continues to be good and we just continue to not break anything. That's the most important part. I feel like the meme where the dude's sitting in the chair at the table and like everything's on fire and he's just like everything's fine. <laughs> that's that's what this feels like. say that word. <laughs> Well, we are back from Roush Creek and I gotta say I had an amazing weekend and I wanna say thank you to Nick from Tri-State Broncos for inviting us out there. We got to have an amazing time with him and the rest of the guys on some fun trails out at Roush Creek and I'm actually really surprised about the Bronco. Now, if you guys don't know, this is a base model Bronco so we don't have front or rear lockers and it is a manual as well too. All the other Broncos that were out on the trail all had at least a front or a rear locker and a lot of them were automatic so they did have a little bit of an easier time on the trail than we did. But still even without all of those things we were still able to get through all of the trails that all the other Broncos were able to. And with that being said we were actually able to get through a lot of those trails with almost minimal damage. We have a couple scrapes and scratches especially underneath of the Bronco but other than that it's still intact and it drove all the way home with no problems. Now we do plan on going back out to Roush Creek in the future and some other off-road parks so definitely let us know down in the comments section if you'd like to see this again. 
Now I will say after this weekend, I do have a good list of parts for this thing to hopefully make it a lot better on the trails. And you guys will definitely see that in the near future. Now it is time to drop a gear and disappear. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, if you need any off-road parts, just click the link down below in our description.